Hey, what up guys? Mike here, Holmes Pressure Wash. Alright, so I wanted to talk to you guys about um, PPE, Personal Protective Equipment. I think that's what it stands for. Anyway, so the other night I was doing that Publix roof job and I hate to say it, but I usually don't wear my mask. It's just a half mask with the pink cartridges, 3M makes it. I usually don't wear it when I wear when I clean roofs, but the thing is when I'm cleaning roofs, I'm up on a roof and the wind's blowing. You should wear it, and I'm, I'm going to wear it, but I usually didn't. And the other night when I was, um, I know I didn't take video. I do have some video I'll throw up, but you can check it out. It's on my Facebook page, um, Olin's Pressure Washing on Facebook. You'll find me. Um, but uh, you know, the way it was was it's it was kind of just like overhangs, but there was walls surrounding it, so it kind of kept the no. There was no wind blowing, so when I was spraying, and I'm pretty high up, I'm at least 30 feet up on a ladder, and every once in a while I'll get that oh, like that nasty taste of bleach when I'm spraying roofs, but the, the, I got it kept getting stronger and stronger it felt like almost like a metallic blood taste that was in my nose and mouth and I got was like all right let me climb down the ladder which I'm glad I did so I got down on the ground and it kept getting worse and worse and um, I started feeling faint and I've had a seizure before in the past and uh, I remember that faint feeling I was getting, like, and that's what it felt like it was happening. I didn't have, I did not have a seizure the other night, but it felt like I was going to fall out. Like I thought I was dying, and I almost had my helper call 911. And obviously, I, uh, I'm okay. But I tell you what, man, it was scary. And uh, from now on, I'm wearing my mask every night or every day. I'm cleaning anything stronger than downstreaming. I'm wearing it, especially with oxalic acid too. Same stuff for rust, any kind of acid or bleach or hydroxide, any of that stuff. You want to make sure you're wearing your mask, guys. And um, I'm glad it kind of happened to me. And I'm glad I'm okay, but it definitely was a learning lesson. And uh, always make sure you guys are wearing your your masks when you're dealing with chemicals and high strengths. I mean, you probably should be wearing it when you're downstreaming because you're mixing straight bleach before downstreaming. But anytime you're spraying with your uh, dedicated pump, like a roof pump, air diaphragm, or booster even. Make sure you're wearing your mask, guys. That's all this video is about. And um, it was just scary. <laughs> it was really scary. So I'm glad it happened because it was a learning experience. I felt like shit for two days. It was just not fun. Um, I'm glad. You know, I hope I don't have any serious breathing okay now and everything I feel okay now but it was scary so that's all I was trying to just get across to you guys make sure you wear your PPE masks and uh, if you get them on Amazon it's a uh, it's a 3M mask and then they they're, they're little little squares and the pink ones you want to get the the ones I didn't know it's P100 but you want to get the ones that are for acid and gases and then it's and on Amazon they're 20 bucks for the cartridges the replacement cartridges they're pink and it says specifically in the description for chlorine so make sure you get those ones and uh, like I said if you're mixing chlorine uh, oxalic acid any kind of acid any kind of hydroxide any kind of strong chemical just put it on I'm telling you, that shit was scary. All right, guys, take care. Um, 
check out my Facebook page and my Google page. Oh, just type in Owens Pressure Washing and you'll see like my my work videos and uh, my before and afters and um, yeah the work I do so it's Olin's pressure washing O-L-E-Y-N-S apostrophe S uh, pressure washing on Facebook and on Google I'm on Instagram too and one more thing I want to say guys I'm okay if you guys want to use a before and after of mine. I'm okay with that. But just please message me first. And just let me know and ask me if it's okay. I mean, I'm okay with everyone doing it. But I, before you go ahead and use it, I had a situation. Somebody was using my pictures. Which I'm flattered and everything. But just shoot me a message, man. And let me know, hey, can I use this before and after? And um, I'll be happy to let you use it. But please just ask first. That's all. That's all I ask for. Because in the rare occurrence that maybe I don't. Maybe if you're local to me or something. I obviously wouldn't want you using my work. You know. I'll help you out. But I'm not going to let you use my work. But if you live in Canada or California or any state that's not Florida. <laughs> Even if you do, just hit me up and ask first, that's all. But yeah, check me out on Instagram, Google, and Facebook. And uh, like and subscribe, guys. I appreciate the help. I actually got a phone call from somebody today while I was at work. <laughs> and I was, it caught me, at, it was actually at the per perfect time I answered. And I was able to chat with him for a few minutes. But, um, oh, uh, messaging, text messaging is better. But actually... Hey, hit me up on Facebook or whatever, guys. But, um, yeah, if you want to uh, go ahead and look at my videos and stuff. But just ask before you use things, guys. That's all I'd ask for. All right, guys. Have a good day. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. And always re remember to wear your masks when you're doing chemicals, guys. Because that shit was scary. I thought I was dying. And that's not fun. But it was a learning experience and I thought I'd pass it on to you guys. Alright, take care.